first came out with Um Bob and that first album, Middle of Nowhere, uh, I definitely knew I'd be making music in 10 years, but uh, knowing exactly where you'd be, you know, I'm now married for a year and, and all of us with families and the other guys have kids and it's definitely something, those things I, I wouldn't have been able to say. I don't think I would have said I'll be married at 21, but I did know that making music was not something that was a passing fad for me. Having kids and being on the road and being a musician, I think in a lot of ways go together because they're all chaos. A lot of people are sort of thrown off by, you know, the late night, you know, feedings and kind of the endless, you know, juggling. But when you're in a band and you tour and you've, you know, been doing that, it, it's, it's actually very similar. Our fans, uh, I don't know, at, at first we do have a lot of female fans, but I think uh, for the most part, it uh, is more about the music than just the sex symbol thing. And, and for the ones that are in it for the sex symbol thing, I think probably they just feel more of a, ha, ah, now we're untouchable, now we're ungettable, so they want us more, right? Instead of a bunch of, you know, drunken rock stars and, you know, roadies around you, when you're not in that situation, you've got, you know, a bunch of crazy kids that are bouncing off the walls. And, and honestly, my wife and my kids are the greatest reward for everything we do. Having significant others, it definitely changes things. I mean, I dated my wife for five years before we got married, so I definitely knew who she was. You know, that wasn't some big shock, like we got married after two weeks or two months. But uh, being married and living every day together, waking up every morning, that, you know, there's, there's a different dynamic. This year is 10 years after Middle of Nowhere, and People have asked a lot of times, you know, would you have ever thought that you'd be here doing this 10 years later? And the answer is absolutely no question about it. The music's in our blood, it's what we were born to do, and it's what we love more than anything. Hopefully, you know, besides obvious other things like your family and so on, which you care about, but your music is, is your first love. And, um, and we will always be doing music. And, I think that's an exciting thing. When, when you get that bug, when you get you know, cut by the rock and roll razor blade, it's something that's always a part of you, something you can't get away from.